welcome to another episode of Earning the Hate. How you going, people? Well, Earning the Hate, isolated incident, 45,642. Uh, so this cop, I just did a Earning the Hate on Clay County cop that was arrested for sneaking into a girl's house. And it was a different cop. What was the name of the different cop? Um, so the cop that, that this video is about is Alan Reese of Clay County. He's texting. He works as a resource officer 14 years. That's what I'm doing today. I just did a video. Clay County Deputy Travis Pritchard was arrested for sneaking into a 15-year-old girl's what the hell are they doing in Clay County? It's like, I mean, Rick, this is isolated and the cops are really good and you're just picking on them and making them look bad. Okay, whatever, you freaking little blue line idiots that protect bad cops, which you're too stupid to realize that it hurts the profession and it hurts all of you and that's why nobody supports you and that why, that's why nobody has freaking trust in you. If you cleaned your own house, you might have credibility. Rick, you're just picking all the cops. Pick up. Whatever, you freaking idiots. Uh, so what was this? The Free Thought Project uh, did this case, and I got video here coming up of this guy where he was confronted, and I want to talk about his body language. But uh, let's see. Nathan Watts, uh, watch list. A group of professional trained individuals located out of Jacksonville, Florida. They go out and they they hunt down these sex traffickers, man. These dudes, these guys do great work. As a cop, I love these guys because they make your case easy. They give you all this evidence. All you have to do is do a little bit of follow-up, maybe set up a little pretext, have them call, and you're good to go. I mean, I, I told that crazy cop story where I gave that little girl a ride home and her freaking boss was screwing her, and he was like, I don't know, 50 or 60, and she's like 15 or 16, and... She's hiding it from her mom, and he's racing around on a highway with her in the car. I mean, it's just crazy, and it was a kind of a pain in the ass in order to get an event. Unless you hand an agency a gift wrap case, most of them just don't have time or the resources. I'm not saying cops need more money. I'm not saying we need more cops. What I'm saying is the cops we hire are incompetent, and the job we have them do has nothing to do with keeping you safe or going after real criminals. They have to do with enforcing speed limits and, and stop signs and giving you tickets because your registration is out. That's where we fall. And, and then they'll say, well, you know, if we had more cops, we could investigate these poor children. You've got plenty of cops to investigate. You choose not to because you have become tax collectors and fine people and license plate chasers instead of cops. But I digress. Let me get back to this freaking idiot here who's out here uh, working as a school resource officer, and he's texting a 14-year-old trying to have sex with her. So this guy confronts her, confronts him on duty, which is cool. So I want to talk about this cop's body language and how his lack of denial. But they haven't arrested this guy. This guy walked because he knew what to say. He works as a school resource officer. He's grooming these kids and talking to them in the way that he knows the law can't work. Criminals get educated every time they get arrested. Cops get educated too. So he knows. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. What's up, Alan? Alan Reese? What's Alan going on? Reese. You know who I am? I have no idea. No idea? You know my 14-year-old niece. I'll put it that way. That you've been texting for a couple months? You know her? The one you want sexy bikini pictures from? The one you want to wrestle and meet? Okay, so if some guy walked up to me and said, you know my 14-year-old niece, I'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Dude, you're full of shit. You got the wrong dude. I mean, it would be, it would be, I wouldn't even have to think about it. It wouldn't be like, damn, I wonder what 14-year-old girl he's talking about. I wonder, it wouldn't be none of that. This guy, deer in headlights. Oh, shit. Now you're going to notice this nervous kind of hand movements where the guy kind of starts, he's thinking right now and he's trying to come up with a good excuse. He's got his mace and his, 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 his handcuffs and his extra magazines so he can hide outside. Remember the cop? 
that was school resource officer and when the cops and when the kids were getting killed inside the cops stayed outside and the supreme court ruled the cops have no duty to protect or act and when kids are getting slaughtered even though we give them guns and ammo and we pay them exorbitant amounts of money and overtime and retirement even though we do all that they have no duty to protect these kids and they want you to give up your guns because they say you don't need them we'll protect you no duty to act remember that school resource officer with his gun and badge around these kids impressing these young impressionable girls here we go at least he's wearing a mask i mean that makes him a good guy right he's he's being safe right her house when her mother's gone do i need to pull up the chats i got her phone right here so what are we going to do about this notice this guy looking around like oh shit. the hands coming to the body he's getting protective that's like when, when you're talking to somebody and they cross their arms, they're, they're putting up a barrier and they're being protective because they know their shit's bad and they're, they're trying to put up that defensive posture. Notice these hands go up. He's, he wants to tell this guy, stop, get away. But he's trying to control himself and he doesn't know what to do. The constant glancing around at other targets, he's like, oh shit, who's seeing this? Who's witnessing this? Who's, man, he's got a lot of keys. He must be important. I digress. Here we go. Hang on. You're a. Do I need to pull up the chats? I got her phone right here. So what are we gonna do about this? You're a Leo. Are you kidding me? Do you not think that's inappropriate to ask her for sexy bikini pics? Now you know what you can and can't say to go to prison. Otherwise, I'd have the ICAC detective here. Notice the hands, the nervous hands. Look at him clicking. These are all little things when I'm talking to people that I'm looking for on whether they're lying, the consciousness of guilt, their deny, their defensiveness. These are all little things. Watch this hand start getting this jittery, like, oh, shit, man, what I, I start to, oh, man, they're coming in to get me. What do I do? Watch this little hand. Just slight little movement here. You know what you can and can't say to go to prison. Otherwise, I'd have the ICAC detective here with me. See the clinching? Notice the lack of denial, the outrage that you... You accuse me of molesting a kid or something, I'm going to be like, you need to get the hell out. I'll beat your freak. You're a lying piece of shit. I know I'm not guilty. Get out of my face. This guy's not doing any of that. Consciousness of guilt. What do you have to say about that? That's my niece. What would you do if it was your niece? Do you want to wrestle? Do you see my ears? Do you want to wrestle a man like me? He's asking a 14-year-old, do you want to wrestle? Now... He knows, as a resource officer, I guarantee you his statement's going to be, this was totally innocent. It was taken out of context. Uh, you know, I was friends with her, and she wanted to wrestle, so I was just saying, yeah, we can wrestle. I'll beat you. He goes, I was just trying to build rapport. I, I've worked with weasels like this. First of all, no cop worth his salt, unless they're a female cop, works at a freaking high school. You just don't do it. It is it is a freaking security job. You're dealing with whiny kids. You're around kids. It's not police work. Uh, why do I need to carry a gun to be around whiny kids? But Rick, you're protecting them. Shut up. Nobody's protecting anybody. I just told you a story where the school resource officer stayed outside while the kids were getting shot. And the courts rule he didn't have to go in and defend them. So, I mean, it's just these guys that work around schools and hang around schools and do that shit. Man, you can, and as a cop, I know weasel cops, and there's plenty of them. This guy's a freaking weasel. I can tell by looking at him for five minutes. Um, is that what you want to do? Because we, I'm sure, I'm sure we can find a, a school around here that has some wrestling mats. Do you want to pin me down? Do you think I'm smart enough to know what you're gonna do after you pin me down? I didn't want to do this in front of. Notice he's not walking away. He's not saying, dude, you're on school property. If you don't have business here, leave. He is totally deer in the headlights. What do I do? I'm screwed. Oh my God, how do I get out of this? I mean, this just screams guilt. And I can't believe they haven't gone after this guy. Any kids or anything like well, that? Okay, well, no. And I'm going to be out of here before any kids are around. Okay, well, what no. And I'm going to be out of here of any kids so what you're gonna do after you pin me down i didn't want to do this in front of any kids or anything like that okay well no and i'm gonna be out of here before any kids are around 
Oh, so he's worried about the kids now. Isn't that nice? He's a school resource officer. He's worried about kids being around. Oh, Rick. This is an isolated incident, Rick. You're, you're just misinterpreting it. He's a good guy. He's got a uniform on. He's got a badge and gun. He must be good, right? Government did a background on him. If we just give our guns up to government, they will protect us and keep us safe and we'll never be the victim of government. Because government is always good, Rick. Why do you always crack on government? Yeah, okay, whatever. Freaking crazy people. You, you want to talk? Then... How do you think I feel when that's my 14-year-old niece? And you're working at a school? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know what would have been funny? The cop goes, well, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm working at a school because it gives me easy access to children. I mean, you should know that by reading my text to your 14-year-old. I mean, it's just crazy that an agency doesn't see the signs. These are these are things. It's just like that. I, I tell you about that freaking lieutenant that did all that shit. Everybody knew he was a freaking pervert, and nobody wanted to discuss it. He was friends with the chief. The chief protected him. Everybody ignored it and stayed away. I turned his ass in numerous times, and I was always the bad guy. I was always the non-team player. The chief always tried to get me back for going after his buddy. Whatever. You are a disgrace to Leos. You know that? I, I back the blue. I work with law enforcement constantly. I back the blue. Yeah, back the blue until it happens to you. How about now you back the blue? He's going after your 14-year-old niece, and you're still back in the blue. That's where this guy loses me. You're a disgrace. You should take that badge off. 1042. You should take that belt off. <laughs> he said his badge number. That's funny. Take that badge off. 1042. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. Good one. And take your ass home is what you should do. Shifting of the weight, squeezing and holding, hands don't move, hands stay in front, causing a barrier and block. He's He knows he's guilty. I mean, this guy just screams, I just got busted. It's kind of like the kid, you catch on a cookie jar and he goes, wasn't me. It's like Shaggy. But she called me on camera. It wasn't me. <laughs> He's not even saying it's not me. I'm gonna let me. you get back to work, but I wanted you to see my face and see the man that's gonna be watching for you. I know everything about you, everything. All right. If you ever, if you ever come near my niece or you come near any children, I'm gonna be there, and so are the ICAC detectives. Okay, so this guy's kind of getting off point here. First of all, he's full of shit. He's not keeping them away from any children because he works at a freaking school. If he was keeping them away from all children, he wouldn't leave them at the school. He would do something. So he really can't. I saw the horses running out there. I don't know what was going on, what they're running from. So, uh, you know, he, 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 the guy's kind of like throwing out these idle threats. He has to be careful on threats. You want to be careful that you're threatening. Uh, you know, do what you got to do. Get the case. Get the best case you can. He confronted him. I would be, if I was confronting him, I'd be like, dude, j just explain the text to me. See, when you confront these guys, you don't want to shut them down like this guy's doing. And this is maybe a tip to you guys that go out and confront people. You don't want to shut them down. You want them to talk and incriminate themselves. That's why I tell people, don't talk to the cops. Because if you talk to the cops, it can be used against you. Even if you're innocent, they can twist your words. They can mishear. They can hear what they think they heard. They can write the report different than what you said. Uh, they can misinterpret it. You don't talk to government because they'll use it against you. When you get these guys like this, you want them to talk. I, if I'm interviewing this guy, I'm like, dude, I'm a father. My 14-year-old girl showed me this text. Look at this. What, what's going on? Why, why, why would you text her that? And let this guy talk. See, the guy on the camera is so busy berating and talking, and, and, and people may like that and say, yeah, good, get him. But it's not good for the prosecution. What's good for the prosecution is you let this piece of shit weasel incriminate himself. You take him right where you want him to go. Man, wh why would you say you want to wrestle with her? I mean, that just, that seems odd to me. Wh wh what were you talking about? Uh, 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 let him stall. If he can't answer, good. you got to give him time to answer, to lie, to say something we can use against him. 
he's not letting this guy talk. So this tape isn't as useful to me as an investigator. If I'm trying to prosecute or get crimes or charge this guy or get a search warrant, it's not as helpful if I just hear you talk and berate him. It's better if you act stupid and you ask him questions and you act like you're not really upset, but you want him to explain and then you let him lie because when people explain, they lie and then you get him that lie and you tear down that lie and you use it against them. So although this guy is doing good work and I, I appreciate him confronting her, he didn't help hang this dude. He could have hung him more by letting him talk more, letting him say things that I can later twist around and go, well, you said this here, you said this here, you won't be lying. Were you lying here? Or were you lying here? Which one were you lying now? Why did you say that? Why did you say you didn't do it? Why Why did you say you didn't do it? Now I have a phone that shows you did it. Now you denied and you lied to me. What? Get him in lies. And you can't do that if you're talking and not letting him respond. All right. Bye. You too. Have a nice day, sir. Didn't defend himself. Didn't say, dude, look, I let you get away with this this time. You come in my face again like that, and you start threatening me with bullshit when I didn't do anything freaking wrong, and I ain't got nothing to freaking hide, and my texts are fine and open. You take my texts, and you take that conversation to whoever you want. I didn't do anything wrong. I ain't guilty of shit. You're full of shit. None of that from this dude. Nothing. Rick, maybe you're just an asshole, and, and you just you, you talk to people. Me, Shut up, you freaking crybabies. All right, we'll end that there. Earning the hate. Mr. What was his name? Reese? What was it? I can't remember his name. Hang on. Let me make sure I get his name. Yeah, so this guy is Alan Reese. The other video, I'll put a link to this video at the end of this one, was uh, Travis Pritchard. Also Clay County. Man, they got a little freaking... I, I wonder if they've got a little group of officers saying officers who like teen girls and they have little meetings. What the hell is going on in Clay County? Earning the hate. We'll end that there.